Welcome back to Halls of Torment. We will be finishing with Cleric, and we're just gonna go straight into level five, which is the Chambers of Dissonance. I suspect this is going to be pretty tough, so we will see how many attempts it's gonna take. We are a Fire Cleric that benefits from uh, pickup range, so hopefully those buffs will help, but I do not suspect this is going to be easy. At least we're one-shotting at the start, so that's a good thing. Let's go with a, a range. Pickup was consideration there. I kind of want to farm. Uh, let's do attack speed. I am going to have to buff attack in a bit, but right now, attack speed is feeling pretty good because I am one-shotting. Mm. Let's go ahead and do pickup range. But uh, from here on out, I think I am going to focus on attack. Just kind of taking advantage. Let's go ahead and do the damage. Just kind of taking advantage of the fact that I'm one-shotting right now. Okay. Just checking the camera and everything. Everything looks good. Mm, let's go ahead and do some movement speed. It's like I kind of want to stay in form, but I also want to get this ability. And if this is anything like, why can I not think of the uh, the frozen place? Like the entire last episode, I could not think, I think it's frozen depths. So for some reason I could not think of the word depths. Uh, but yeah, I think I need an ability. I definitely needed, a, needed an ability in the last level and this one is supposedly harder or at least it was unlocked later. I think still attack speed. My attack is okay for the moment. So if we can keep up with the speed, maybe that'll be enough. Um, let's do overall strength though. So, mm. These three are all good. I think I'm gonna do attack speed still. I don't think I can complain with uh, that much attack speed. Because I have a feeling that my strength is pretty good right now. Everything is falling. So yeah, I think attack speed was the correct decision. Let's go with the range. So I'm just gonna see if I can get this ability scroll. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this one. If uh, he'll drop. Wow, okay. So as far as the mobs go, my attack is pretty good. As far as the bosses go, my attack is really weak. So... Let's do area for now. Oof, got caught on a corner there. He seems to be dropping very slowly, but at least he is dropping a little bit. Get some supplemental strength, maybe that'll help. This ability will definitely help, unless I get three bad ones. Uh, yeah, I need damage, so let's do damage it is nice to um to basically one shot the mobs though so it's really just the bosses i have to worry about what you got needles and just like that i'm feeling pretty good Attack speed sounds good to me. What you got for me? There we go. Um, 
dragon's breath. I don't really care for the uh, dragon's breath, but best best of the three. Hmm. I guess burn chance. I do have a burn effect. Um, circle it. So maybe that'll that'll help some. I'm just gonna go and hard charge this other uh, ability scroll. See if I can get orbs, probably. Yeah, I think orbs is what I want. Um, strength, primarily just for bosses, but I can see the mobs getting a little stronger too. So I'm basically, my, it might be required now to get some more strength. And uh, for those who are watching this far, we're about five minutes in. What do you think about continuing this series with the other heroes? So assuming I win in this episode, this will be all five levels. All right, so there are a ton of different heroes I can do. I could do, let's see attack speed. I could do every single hero, all five levels. There might also be additional content. So what do you think about continuing this? Or do you just want me to do what I want to do? And if I'm feeling it, go for it, not. Let me, let, let me know. Uh, let's see if I can get this ability scroll. But I am, I am having a lot of fun with this game. Let's see, area, probably. This last level doesn't feel like a pushover. I don't want to come across as that, but it does feel easier than the Frozen Depths. But that might just because of, be because of my scaling. So I might be uh, scaling a lot more than I did on that. And I might, um, I think I got attack speed and area permanent upgrades at the end of the uh, Frozen Depths. So that might be doing um, more than I think it is. It's very possible. But this is feeling pretty good. Now let's do needles. It's kind of interesting how the Phantom Needles are my favorite ability, but it's I'm pretty sure I got it from the Archer, which is, of the ones I played, my least favorite hero. So that's kind of interesting. Hmm. Pick up range for mobs or movement speed to get out of the way. I think movement speed. I think early movement speed is pretty good. Yikes, got caught. No, oh, did he fall? I think he fell. Sweet. Um, orbs. Avalanche might have been the play there. Because I think at a base level, Avalanche is better. Attack speed on Dragon's Breath or Regen. I think I'm gonna go full hog attack. I don't need to focus Regen just yet, but these these enemies are actually kind of strong. It's let me off guard. Uh, let's go more damage. Just always be scaling. Strike. And what is this? Okay. Uh, what is Arcane Rift? Magic Explosion. I've never tried it. Let's do the Avalanche, just because I know it's good. I can experiment later. I kind of like this build, so I don't really want to experiment. 
I think that's pretty good reasoning. It's like experiment on haunted caverns, not on the last level. Hmm. Regen or pick up? I have a lot of mobs to go, so let's do pick up. And as a friendly reminder, pick up plus enemies equals attack. Because I have the necklace. Um, let's do damage for main. Damage for phantom needles was also a consideration, but 30% is larger than 20%. It's basically what I came down to there. Great chance on the needles is interesting. I think attack speed is still probably better. I am, uh, I might have a crit build with one of the other heroes, assuming I keep playing, which I think I will. I might not record, but I think I'm gonna keep playing. Um, so I might have a crit build at some point. Let's do speed on the orbs. But I, at the moment, I don't like relying on crits. And it doesn't really synergize well either. Oh, oh okay. I didn't know, apparently I didn't take a hit from that, which is crazy. Uh, let's do damage on the needles. I had no idea what that attack was. Uh, overall range, or go ahead and build the avalanche. Probably overall range. And movement speed. Let's see if we can get another. Mm, damage attack speed, damage attack speed. Both are good. Let's go damage this time. And now we'll go attack speed. Orbs for definitely a consideration. What you got for me? I still don't have a mark. So we have this mark up here and I don't know how to get a mark. Um, crit bonus, crit chance. So those are the crit builds I was talking about. I have base damage and fire. What do I want to well? I think crit chance, probably. I'm not necessarily going to well that, but it is an option, assuming I don't get anything better. But that was pretty cool that he was a main, or... He was an equipment boss, which is... So there's ability scroll bosses, and then there's equipment bosses, which are supposed to be a little bit stronger. But he didn't feel that much stronger, which is pretty cool. That means I'm scaling really well. And I basically ran out of objectives, I think. So I'm just gonna probably chill and survive. Orbs, uh, movement speed sounds good. I guess I could chill by the well. Maybe there's another way down there. I could just go ahead and toss the ring in there because I think I'll want that eventually, but uh, you kind of have this, uh, let's do movement speed. You kind of have this debate, right? So it's like toss early, guaranteed item, toss later and have a chance at a better item. But you also have a chance of not welling an item because you died, which is a possibility. I, have, I haven't played this level before, so. There's, there could be something that subs me up. There were definitely a lot of things that subbed me up on the Frozen Dabs. 
Well, I seem to be melting this boss right now, which is amazing. Hmm. Orb damage sounds good. And Phantom Rift. Inner Orbit. Inner Orbit already. Sweet. So, I'm going to be prioritizing orbs if I can. And, uh, well, yeah, I'm, even if I do other heroes, I think I'm going to prioritize Swordsman. Let's see, let's do Critchant. I'm going to prioritize, like, Swordsman and, like, Ranger Archer. I'm not sure what that one was. And Exterminator first, just so I don't muddy the uh, ability pool. Because I really like these abilities. Like, all the abilities I currently have are really good. And I don't want to put a lot of junk in the pool. Now, it's possible there's a lot of good abilities I'm missing out on. And I'll figure that out eventually. But for now, this is working. So I don't really want to mess with what's working. So if you didn't know how it works, once you level up a hero or do a certain amount of damage with a specific type, then you unlock new abilities. And you can choose those with ability scrolls. Which is good because you're unlocking new things, but it's bad because you decrease the likelihood of getting the ability you actually want. So right now, because I've only played with Swordsman, Archer, and Cleric, Cleric and Exterminator, my pull for abilities is really low. Which means I can basically pick out exactly what I want at all times. Seems like we have another boss. I don't know where he is. Hmm, let's do... I guess more pickup range. Just, um... Think about more damage on mobs. Where are you? I'm dodging all your attacks, or trying to, but I don't even know where you are. Uh, orb damage, I guess. Yeah, I do have six of them. Alright, taking a lot of hits right now. So I'm gonna try to be more careful. I would like to prioritize attacking the boss, but I don't know where it is. Hmm, damage? keep moving. Where's the well? I passed it. Hmm, needle damage probably or attack speed. Hmm, let's do needle damage. Seriously, I have not seen this boss at all. Just the attacks. At least I basically regen all the way. Let's go ahead and boost the regen just a bit. Now pick up. Uh, Distance is already pretty good, and I don't really see myself struggling with mobs right now, so that's fine. Okay, so that's the well. We'll just chill around here. Attack speed, definitely. Oh, I didn't mean to open the well. Okay, there is an enemy, or a boss. I don't know if it's the one that's causing all the 
stuff. Um, let's do Phantom Split. Better needles. Attack speed, I guess. Well, I didn't expect to make it to um, 15 minutes on the first try, so that's pretty cool. To be fair, though, this is exactly the build I wanted to make. It's been very kind on the, uh, the choices. Hmm. I guess Dragon's Breath. There's definitely an argument for go ahead and boosting regen, but I think Dragon's Breath, just to be proactive. I don't think now is the time to be reactive. So, yeah. There's a magnet down there. I don't think I need it. So I'm not going to prioritize going for it. If I just so happen to go down there, I'll get it. But right now I'm kind of chilling around needles, kind of chilling around the well. See if I can get another piece of equipment. Whoa, what is hitting me? I'm glad my region is so good, but that was scary. Um, orb damage. Um, let's see, movement speed, yes, please. I can actually move around a little bit more. I was getting boxed in a little bit. Pick up a few straight XP. Just overall strength. Um, I think the next time I'm offered health, I'm gonna take it. Just because 580 is kind of low, and the final boss will easily take that. So just as a future sight, go ahead and picking up some health. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do 40 base health, just to go ahead and take care of that. And if you're wondering why it didn't go up by 40 and it went up by more, that's because I have some, I think at least one permanent health uh, upgrade and that also stacks. Uh, let's do Dragon Breath attack speed. I think that means I freeze more often. Um, versus crit chances, which is just more damage. So I think that's better. This is more of a fire build and the, uh, the frost is kind of secondary. Regen attack speed. I think attack speed. And I have a star on right now. Uh, let's see if we can melt this boss. Kind of hard getting close to him because of all these attacks, but we're doing okay. Uh, pick up range base health. At this point, I think base health is more important. My mob control is fine. My boss control is not. And base health is good for bosses. Up just a little bit, but overall I'm doing all right on the dodges. That's bad. Hmm. Regen or better avalanche? Better avalanche. More damage, please. No need to regen if the boss is dead, right? Got 
get you. What you got? I should not have done that. Dude, attack speed gloves? P yes, please. Not for this build because I have like pickup, the pickup synergy, but overall, give me the. Wait, are those our. I already have them. Do I already have them? I don't think I do. I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna well them if I can. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stick those in the well. Uh, let's see. Area? Area. 12 minutes to go. More than half on the first attempt. That's, that's crazy. I think I died within the first like, five minutes in the frozen depth, so. Mo big improvement. Stick these gloves. How has that already been sent off? Um, let's do the crit chance then. Well, I know I have some good gloves, so that's that's nice. Kind of a shame I forgot that, but it's okay. Um, damage. I guess since I'm done with the well, I can go to this magnet. I don't think the. Oh, I got it. Never mind. Um, you know what? Let's do some region. Range was likely better there, but I'm at the point that, you know what? If I one shot this, I one shot this. And I think region will help me one shot. I, hmm. What does that do? Does that damage me? Or is it damage enemies? Or I'm gonna walk in and just see if it damages me. Uh, let's go avalanche. It doesn't. Huh. Wonder what it does. I'm starting to feel pretty good on health now, so that's great. Must do attack speed on the avalanche. Recording looks good. Well, even if this run dies, which I'm not going to curse it, but even if it does, good progress. So I'm feeling pretty good about finishing it either this time or like the next one. Final boss might be crazy. Chambers of Dissonance. I need to remember that. That is the name. I keep saying like level five is Chambers of Dissonance. Hmm. Of these is all crit and burn. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do region. Yeah. But I need some attack soon. Yeah, give me some attack. Um, Harry is close-ish. At least I'm melting this boss, so he'll give me an ability scroll. Um, I don't think I want aura. I actually don't. Avalanche with additional projectiles, so that means I have six orbs, phantom split, and additional frost um, avalanche, so just more of everything. It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet of abilities. Just more of everything. Um, burn chance. I'm, I'm not too sold on the aura. I'm really not. Everything else seems to be doing really good. I thought the aura was doing pretty good, but I'm not completely sold on it now. Uh, let's do some range, just overall range. And I'm basically in just full survival mode now. 
just circling around getting some XP. Alright, so these uh, balls do not go down. Uh, maybe I can freeze them. But yeah, that's definitely the hardest enemy I've faced so far. Um, other than, you know, bosses. That's the hardest. Uh, no, Frozen Devs, the dog things, those were definitely the strongest. They like, the first time I saw them, they pinned me up against a wall and I was just dead. So, but these are, un are uh, not relenting, so pretty tough. I guess force. I don't know if I have anything that uses force. And I'm probably just gonna resort to looping here. Just so I don't get caught. A lot of XP over here. Needle damage. Get it early and build it up. Now I haven't read this, so I'm gonna just take a pause. Among a plethora of twisted experiments and cataphysical creations, one particular contraption garnered the attention of the power thirsty. The Dissonator Monolith. A monument of destruction, powered by a maze of concentrated light rays. It is said that even the Lord of Discord would succumb to its strike capabilities. Okay, I was looking at my um, capture. Um, electrified orbs. I was looking at my capture to, to try to guess when he stopped talking. Mm, wine bottle. Doesn't matter. Uh, or, yeah, the book. Uh, and I think I, got, I came close that time. As a reminder, I do play on mute. get trapped uh let's do region and let's just go yeah let's just go we'll catch some strays seven minutes by the way and i'm just gonna do moderate sized loop Caught a uh, magnet. Um, Dragon's Breath damage. I think it's finally an okay ability. Uh, orbs. Dragon's Breath might have been better there, but I have six electrified orbs. Of course, I'm going to choose orbs. See if I can just keep on surviving. Six and a half. Do I go full on region? I think I do. I'm at the point that I'm basically in pure survival mode and that's the pure survival mode thing to do. I would not complain with some stacking attack. Hmm. Orbs. That kind of counts. Okay, where are you? Where are you? 
There you are. Oh, that's tough, dude. That is tough. Hmm. Avalanche. Oh, yeah. I think I just have to run around. I can't. I can't fight him head on. If I do that, I'm gonna die. Ah! I can't escape, dude. That was a good dodge. Oh, pain. Um. I'm not sure I could have done really anything better there. I think movement speed is my biggest flaw right now. But I could also buy a revive. I can actually do both. Let's do movement speed and a revive. And we'll try again. I think it should already... Chamber of Dissonance. But yeah, as far as attack and everything goes, it felt pretty good. It was just the movement speed. Of course, I kind of got trapped. So... I'm not sure if movement speed would have helped that much. It was more of, I just couldn't finish him fast enough. Um, strength. Yeah, I think I'm just going to grind or farm here for a moment. Area. Unnecessary hit, but it was okay. Attack speed. One more, and I'll head straight for the um, range. Now I'm gonna go straight for the scroll. was a boss though so that means I can uh, prioritize strength I don't need to prioritize pickup range I don't need to prioritize dealing with mobs it is a boss I am struggling with that's good to know it's good info so I would choose pickup range but now I'm gonna choose attack speed Which is kind of a um, the opposite of the frozen depths. The mobs on the frozen depths are what got me. Because of the type of boss this is, I think I'm actually going to choose Aura. And let's give Aura a chance to prove itself. Of these four health defense. Do I farm or do I go straight for the scroll? Recording looks good, by the way. I probably don't have to say that every time, but I just am spontaneously looking to my right. And that is, yeah. I didn't know if the camera was mirrored or not, so I kind of just tested that. I kind of want to farm, but uh, I don't know. 
Okay, force, because I know it affects the aura. And this is the basically don't worry about mobs build and destroy bosses. I might regret that, but strength. Um, but based on last time, that is what I want to do. Needles. That is my exception. So needles are... No. Needles are not a mob. Needles are a, uh, a boss weapon. Because it is single target, but it's very quick. Like, yeah. Bad joke. Um... Regen. Just go ahead and get it early. I feel like I'm leaving these mobs behind, so I'm gonna go ahead and stay here farm a little bit. Hmm, range. One more and I'll go. Attack speed. Let's go. Attack speed. It's kind of a balance. I want to get the ability scroll, but I also want to get as many levels as I can. Um, damage, because I have a feeling that's going to be the difference between beating the boss and not. It's just the pure amount of levels I get before facing him. Damage. But I think fully targeting damage is probably the play too. Because I can dodge a few attacks, but I can't dodge all day. And regen isn't really going to save me. The only thing that's going to save me is beating him before he can beat me. And that's just pure damage. Just pure damage and attack speed. I'm going to have some backup regen, but... I'm not focused on mobs, I'm not focused other than levels. I'm talking about as far as the build goes. I'm not building for mobs, I'm building for the boss. Seems to be a scroll in this pot. Hmm. Dragon's Breath is the mob choice. Transfiction is the boss choice, so let's choose Transfiction. Mm, range. Now this might get really tough as far as the mobs go, and that's kind of what I'm testing the waters on. So it's like, how much can I tie, um, prioritize single target before it starts affecting me on mobs? I guess I have aura as a backup, so that's, that's pretty good. Uh, let's do pure strength. Force. Multi strike sounds good. Uh, damage. 
good shower. Multi strike again. I think damage. Boss. Mini boss. I think he's equipment. Um, area. No, just ability scroll. Um, let's see, arcane rift. Oh, echo, echo, definitely echo. I do want to try the rift, but not unless I know I have a word. Um, I don't have a better option, I guess. Okay, I'm still not strong enough to take care of these. That sucks. Uh, attack speed. Hopefully by the time I get to the boss, I will actually have enough uh, targeted attack to where I can deal with deal with him in a um, fast fast way. Let's go area. Cause right now, like the single target on these stronger mob enemies is just not cutting it. It wasn't last time either, so that's not indicative, but still. Regen movement speed. Movement speed. like the final boss is ridiculous which it probably will be um this this definitely still feels easier than the frozen depths so we'll see final boss might be uh might make me eat those words attack speed but i figure if i'm building for that equipment boss, then I should be building for the final boss too. So I should be okay. Okay, are you an equipment boss? Seem to be tough. close between that and health and defense. Stay calm. And just dodge. Needle space or aura. I don't want to shrink the aura. So let's do some needle space. Okay, I did not understand that attack. Still didn't really understand that attack. Um, range on the needles or attack speed? I think attack speed. Should fall shortly. I 
having some mob issues. That I thought that might be the. Uh, which one did I choose? Did I choose region? I meant to choose uh, attack. Okay, what you got? Crit bonus. Skeleton summon. Fragile. I think skeleton summon. Let's go and pick up all this XP. Hmm, seems like we got another boss. Uh, multi strike. At least this one's easier. Got you. Um, rift or a phantom rift. Um, yeah, we'll do phantom rift. Keep our ability pool pretty small right now and just increase what we got. This is starting to feel pretty good. I know I'm prioritizing uh, boss damage, but this is still doing mob work. Uh, aura damage, yes please. Keep it large and make it powerful. If I have to shrink it a little bit, that's fine, but I think overall I want it to be pretty large just so I don't have to get in, uh, get that close to that boss and still do some aura damage. Let's do attack speed on the needles because that is overall a better attack for the boss anyway. Feels kind of weird not having all this being picked up automatically. And I'm kind of going against my build, not going for that, but this really isn't a mob, a mob um, strong level. The mobs are like here, and if you didn't have the strength to deal with them, they would be a problem but the bosses are ridiculous. So this is a much better um, place to focus on the bosses rather than the mobs. Let's go ahead and pick all of this up. See if it gives me anything. Hmm, that being said, pick up range here or defense. Do I go to the defense route? I think I do. As crazy as that sounds, I think I got the defense route here. Um, damage on needles. It's like I know I'm going to take at least a few hits from that boss. It's basically inevitable. So might as well lessen the blow. Regen or aura damage? I think aura damage. It shrinks it a little bit, but I think the damage makes it worth it. I don't know where this boss is. Strengths. 
I would definitely target this boss if I knew where he was. I think I had the same problem on the last run. Health defense. I could also re-roll. I haven't re-rolled at all. I think I have two. Yikes, corner, corner, corner. Get out. Uh, ah, okay. Okay, got a scroll. Oh, uh, well, yeah, better transfection. That's fine. Making my current abilities better is good until I can get, like, orbs. So I'll, I'll probably get orbs, but I know I chose the aura over them, but I think I made the correct decision on that. But now that I have it, I think I want orbs. Um movement speed or multi-strike that's a tough call i think movement speed is more important right now seems i'm getting some stray xp so maybe we can get another level here not quite yeah Um, maybe, no, I think I have to go for the multi-strike, and I'm just going to have to count on my low-level regen to eventually get there. I just have to keep dodging hits, and I'll eventually get back. Feels pretty good doing the uh, loop in between the rooms. Uh, yeah, more movement speed or let's reroll. Yeah, main weapon damage. I've been incre increasing the area, so maybe the mobs. We'll go down a little bit faster with that. I know I'm not prioritizing the mobs, but that's what's giving me an issue right now. Mm, needle damage. Yeah, being able to beat the boss doesn't really matter if I can't get to him. I just went to the well accidentally. Overall strength is probably the play. like one shotting recording still good attack speed yes please this loop seems to be working but there appears to be a boss somewhere Attack speed. I don't know. It might be time to get some pickup. 
just so the mobs are not as difficult. Mm, or damage. That should help though, assuming I get close enough, that aura should be pretty strong at this point. Kind of looping with the boss. I don't think I can um, fight him head on. Direct, apply directly to the forehead. Movement speed. I was gonna go the other way, but I saw XP over here. Uh, attack speed. Transfiction is not... I don't think it's a very good ability. The reason I chose it is because I thought it was going to be more targeted. Um, I don't know. I guess for what I wanted to do right now, it's okay. But I think the frost would have been better. another reroll. I'm on the last level. Uh, yeah, I'm on the last level. Let's reroll. Uh, airy, I guess. That kind of feels like using a max elixir. I don't know. I've gotten better about that, but it still feels bad, you know? Hoarding items feels good, and using items and like not having them later feels really bad. My one justification is this is the last level. Now, it's not the hardest, because I think there's like a harder difficulty. I think it's called Agony. So we'll see about that, but I, I have the ability to get more anyway. Mm, or damage. But yeah, I definitely know the um, item hoarding. I've, I've done it. I get it. Revive. Defense movement speed is interesting. And it seems cheap. I can put the revive on basically anybody though. Yeah, I'm just going to weld the revive. I have uh, one purchased and I could technically steal it and do two this round, but I think having it as a permanent accessory is more important. So I'm just gonna go ahead and well it. And then I can finally turn off the well. So I don't keep walking into it. Just about 10 minutes to go. And I don't remember when that boss came out. I think it was like six-ish minutes. Uh, is health defense better than regen? I feel like it is. Because they did, he doesn't really give me time to regen. So I basically just need to prevent the damage from happening. Which, you know, it's going to happen, but I need to limit it. That was all unnecessary. I think the first one I didn't couldn't do much about it, but the, everything else was pretty much unnecessary. Um, range. My region doesn't feel bad. It's a little bit slow, but it doesn't feel that slow, so that's fine. I think uh, health defense was the correct decision. 
I do need some attack or ability to get rid of the shield. Because that's awful. Mm, yeah, just more health. Um, I have aura. Let's do force. If I didn't have aura, I wouldn't choose force there. But I have it, so... Uh, we got the rolling balls. No! Really hard to dodge. Uh, more aura. Or, okay, there we go. More aura. And I'm kind of hoping that the aura just bells me out because I know that boss wants to put me in a uh, in a little surrounded by purple skull area, so. Um, movement speed, multi-strike. Multi-strike is more important right now. Let's see if I can make it through this boss. It looks like I can. So let's see if we can, uh, I'm gonna loop. I wanna grab it, I'm gonna loop. Full loop. Force. Still gonna be tough. Um, Phantom splits. Yes. Better needles. Um, force. Another boss already. I think it's just ability, but still, that was kind of fast. This one's going down pretty fast, though. Um, ugh. Um, attack speed. I'm gonna try to play a little bit more clean. I was debating all kinds of like small circles and everything to get that and uh, it just backfired. Sacred flame. Okay, I am a I am a fire cleric. So that synergizes surprisingly well. Phantom Needles. Hmm. Base defense, maybe. But I think overall health defense is probably still better. I haven't really upgraded my base defense at all, like on the permanent stats, so it's not great. But I should have more than enough attack and attack speed to make up for it. But I've kind of been prioritizing health defense this particular round just because I'm ignoring pickup range. Which is counter synergy to my build, but I think it's my best chance of winning. Uh, secret chance. We got another boss. Is this the one I died to? I think it is. Or 
fire damage. He puts me in a corner. He's stuck with the aura, is the way I see it. Or I would see it that way if I could find the dude. There you are. I can actually go through that without taking damage, which is good to know. I did it by, I wouldn't say accident, but did it just trying to walk through. Um, let's go. I never do crit bonus. Let's do crit bonus. Okay, melting. All I have to do is survive and he will be continued to melt because I have such large and dangerous needles. Let's go. Twisted Knight, goodbye. Movement speed, I, none of these matter. That gives me a, that is so cheap. All right, so technically I could just go ahead and put that on and get two revives and basically guarantee a win here. Um, that being said, this game could definitely prove me wrong on that. But I don't know, is that too cheap? I start getting low on health, I'm gonna equip it. <laughs> I mean, the game gave it to me, right? So like, uh, kinda cheap, kinda cheese. We'll see. I might just be amazing and not even use one revive. I, we'll, we'll see. Fiction did a heck of a lot on that boss. It was a twisted night. Very annoying boss. It's just, uh, he takes your freedom away. He just puts you in a circle. So I would say as an overall boss fight, more annoying than most final bosses. Let's go. Crit chance. I might regret that. Let's do regen now. I don't need it right this second, but hey, I probably need it on the boss in two minutes, assuming I get there. Be a shame if I didn't. do base defense here well I am using fragile affliction with transfiction so let's do that I'm not exactly sure what fragile and transfiction do but I know that I'm doing them with transfiction so might as well just make it stronger health yeah let's just stack let's just stack I 
That was dumb. Not punished? Maybe. Hey, what is doing that? One minute and change. Level 80. Have I made it to level 80 before? That's a 81. Attack speed. Yes, that is the boss killer. Fifteen. And I think I don't think I loop anymore. I think I just keep walking to survive. Four. Two. One. Okay. Final boss. And I think I can keep my distance. Oh yeah, see this boss fight feels way better than the choice tonight. So long reach needles doing all my work for me. Getting a little bit sloppy. Okay, got you. <sighs> yes, please. And I beat the Chambers of Dissonance. Would supply some upgrades and that's cleric. Unless I consider agony mode, we'll, we'll see. What do I want? Attack range is interesting. I need something for the other heroes. Is there something for 2000? Burn damage. That is not for the other heroes. I want gold, right? Because gold stacks. So let's do gold. And that's a shame I couldn't get attack. Is there anything I can buy from you? 25. All right. Well, I'm, let's see, you are the Norseman. And I think we've seen everybody else. Uh, Lens Connect, I guess. And Beast Huntress, quite a few heroes. So yeah, let me know because I can go through and do each one of these heroes, the five levels and um, yeah, let me know if you want to see that. Uh, I can also figure out, I think there is agony mode. So I can turn on agony mode and uh, beat every level with that. So let me know if you want to see that as well. And other than that, um, see you later. Have a good one.